This is the plaintiff, Nicholas Grassa. He says he purchased a power steering pump from the defendant. And when his mechanic went to install it, he showed him it was defective. The defendant replaced the part, but now he's on the hook for two installations from his mechanic, and he thinks the defendant should pay for the second one. The defendant refuses. That's why he's here suing for the $145 in additional labor he's owed. This is the defendant, Mary Phillips. She says she sent the first pump out to the manufacturer to have it tested, and it came back with a clean bill of health and was deemed to be in perfect condition. She has no control over the plaintiff's inept mechanic, went above and beyond for the plaintiff, and refuses to pay for extra work that did not need to be done in the first place. She's accused of steering a customer the wrong way. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome okay, in. Nicholas Grassa? Yes. You are suing Woodward's Auto Parts, represented here by Mary Phillips. You work for them? Yes. Okay, great. For $145, the extra cost you had to pay for labor because a part you bought from them didn't work. Correct. What happened? Well, back in February of 2014, I was having problems with my car steering, steering Brought it to my mechanic and he took a look at it and said, you need a power steering pump. So he was kind of busy, so he said, uh, if you go to get the pot. Where are you from? Brockton. Okay, Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> if you go and get the what? Pot. Okay. <laughs> go on. He said, if you go get the pot, <laughs> I'll install it for you. So I, I went over to Woodward's. He that, said that, that you went and got the Went right the, over to the, the they're only about, came back. Okay. not even about a mile away. Okay. Went there, purchased the pot, brought it to my mechanic. I got a phone call late in the day saying that the, the pump was not working and that he wanted me to look at it. He started the car up and the fluid was just pumping out of the new, the new pump that he put in. So it was pumping out of where? Does anybody know or no? Right, right, near, right at the top. It, just, it was just coming out. It was, just, it was leaking. Okay. Leaking and, and, and pumping fluid, it was... All right, do you have something from the mechanic that talks about what the problem was? Yes. Yeah, let me see it. So, we needed a new pump, so I had to go back to Woodward's. The old so he pump. says the first one was leaking between the reservoir and pump customer part. Yes. Okay, so go on. So I went back to Woodward's with that pot. They gave me a new one, no problems. So I went back to... Your mechanic and My your mechanic, mechanic charged you an extra $145 to install the second part. For his labor, back and forth, re removing it and replacing it. Right. So instead of paying um, $145, he charged you $290. Yes. Did you, were you surprised that your mechanic charged you double or no? Uh, you hadn't thought it through? I never had the problem before. Yeah. So you, so you went, because uh, normally they'd be supplying the part and they'd figure it right. out with their own, you know. Right, exactly. Right. So... Um, that's food for thought. So, <laughs> did you go back to the auto parts place? Yes, I did. And did you speak with her or somebody else? I spoke to a, a gentleman there. So when you went back, did you say, who's gonna pay me my $145? Well, not in that, that manner. <laughs> How did you say it? I, I went in there and I- So first, like this, who's gonna pay me my $145? <laughs> no, wait, that's <laughs> dollars. <laughs> right. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So uh, the question, does this defendant have to pay the customer for that second installation because the part was defective in the first place? Absolutely, yes. Because? Uh, they should warranty their product. And, and that's a really good point, but ultimately it's the manufacturer who made the mistake, so is the guy who sold it still responsible? Yes, because it's his business and he should back up his, you know, his parts. Fair points, going inside the courtroom. So you went back and what'd you say? I just wanted to find out about the 145. Yeah, yeah. And he said, we don't do that, or what well, did he say? Well, he said, uh, we have to put a claim in. Okay. He did you folks put a claim in? We did. Okay, yeah. who'd you put the claim in with? It was with Quality Manufacturing. Is that the people who sold it to you? Correct. Okay. Quality Rebuilders out of New Jersey. Quite a, so was the part a rebuilt part? It was a remanufactured pump, yes. Oh, and so they sold it to you, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna show me your evidence that it was not defective is Correct. gonna be them saying it wasn't? It's a letter from the company itself. The unit, when it, 
When we get a labor claim, we submit the part as well as the claim. So we would have put a claim in with quality for $145. We send that part back to the company. If that part is found defective or not in good working order, they will pay the labor claim. Have you ever seen them do it? Yes, I have a copy of another company that has paid a labor claim to has us for Has quality entire... ever paid a labor claim? Yes. Do you have a copy of quality? No. And the other company, did the other company have insurance? And was it insurance that paid or was the other company no, pulled it, it, it out of their own pocket? No, it was the company we purchased it from. Okay. And that was for a much larger job. How long job. have you been there? I've been there over three years. How, ma how often have you seen the company say, oh, yeah, this was trash. We owe you money. Um, it does happen, believe it or not. What they percentage are, of the cases? Um, I would say anywhere from the 30 to 50, depending. I mean, they're remanufactured parts here. So they've already been used. They've been sent back to the company. But rebuilt, here's the thing. So we, have, so we have his mechanic who does not want to do this twice. I mean, the mechanic's not in business to do things twice. They right. want their business to move the car and get another car mm -hmm. in, right? And that mechanic says, this part didn't work. I put it in. It didn't work. And you saw that it didn't work. Yes. So do you have any evidence that this mechanic is an incompetent? Because he put in the other one and it worked just fine that he also bought from you. Correct. That I presume you also bought from them? No, that, you know? it, was, it was a different manufacturer, the second you one gave we him, sent. The second one was a different manufacturer. Correct. That one worked just fine. I have to decide because, I don't know, you don't know, he doesn't know, right? I have to decide whose word am I going to believe about whether this thing works. Am I going to believe his mechanic who has no skin in the fight? No. No dog in the fight, no skin in the game, right? No dog in the fight, no skin in the game. Cubans mix our metaphors all the time. <laughs> Um, or do I believe the guys who would have to shell out the 145 who say, we don't owe you 145 because we trust us, we don't. And I know you don't have any other form of doing this. This is the only way you can do this. I know you have to run your business this way. Yeah. I'm just saying that it's, um, without anything more, it's not looking good, but go ahead. If I may. Yes. So the plaintiff came in. Oh, wait, we don't have to get that. We know he came in. Yep. We know he made a Purchases claim. We know part. you guys You guys did everything top notch. You were polite. You returned yes. the thing. You gave him back his money for the part. You sent in the claim. Got it. Right. I mean, as far as we're a parts dealer, we are not an automotive repair place. Oh, so, yes. Let's talk about that. Yes. Did you answer the complaint or did somebody else answer the complaint? Who's the one who said it's like a restaurant through the distributor? That would be me. Okay, so say your, say your metaphor again. <laughs> it, I'm going to tell you why your metaphor is wrong. I may mix mine, but I got mine straight. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my metaphor was if you get food poisoning, you don't go back to the manufacturer you get the food from. You go back to the restaurant. You have exactly. The and you're the restaurant. No, his mechanic's the restaurant. Incorrect, because you're assuming that his mechanic did something wrong. First of all, he dealt directly with you. So the mechanic is not even in the ballpark in terms of where the problems start, unless you have proof his mechanic doesn't know what he's doing. And I have proof that he seems to, because the next one worked just fine, didn't have a problem, it's a different manufacturer. And I have no, have you ever worked with this mechanic before? Oh, yes. Obviously, years. you're close if you're able to just run down and get a part and whatever else. Very Has good. he ever given you a problem? No. Have you ever heard anything bad about Mario's car care? No. Nope. Well, you better start talking because that's, you know. Um, I mean. Is he a customer of He yours? is one of our customers. He's a very good customer of ours. You going to say something bad about him? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Just basically, I mean, we sent, we sold I got him. it. We're done. Pay the guy 145 verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. You're just left holding the bag. You did a great job. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, Judge Millian says you did a great job. Uh, any solace there after losing the decision? Um, I just, personally, we weren't the people that installed it. We weren't the people that did the repair. We sold a part. He paid for the part. He had a problem with the part, we replaced the part. So as far as a business who is in the business of selling parts, we sold him his part and replaced one that was wrong. So unfortunately, she didn't see that side, but you lost. That's what it is. In other words, you lost. I, to put it bluntly, yes. Yeah, OK, OK. Thanks. All right, so. Good, how you doing? Good. You satisfied Good. how this comes out here? Very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Judge saw right through what was going on. Uh, with the auto parts company, and uh, I prevailed. Yeah, congrats. Are you saying pots? Like pot, a, one pot, I'm sorry. What? The power steering pump. Oh, the pot. Part. Oh, parts. pot, pot. Pots? Yes. <laughs> okay. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, I gotta say, she is absolutely right that the defendant is the business person and the defendant is responsible uh, for, um, for selling what they sell, and then you can go back to the manufacturer and complain.